Good morning, fellows. We have, I don't even remember what this thing is. It's a 27, 2016, 2016, 04 of 16, Golf Jetta. Oh, right, there's no key. The complaint is an oil leak. So let's get her in the shop, find out where this oil leak's coming from. I'll spoil it. I already checked this yesterday. That's why it's back in the backyard because we've already looked at it once and it's leaking at the oil pan gasket. So I have an oil pan gasket seal and we're going to pull down that oil pan and fix it. This is the second one in a week though. It's the plastic oil pan type. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a rash of these. Either way, if there is, it's really easy. So don't uh, don't freak out if you have to do it yourself or if your car is leaking in this way. You'll be able to handle it and I'll show you how. So stay tuned, we're in the shop. So as you can see, the oil leak is pretty obvious. It is all about being right around here. It's just leaking at the pan gasket because it's not leaking anywhere up here. It's not leaking down. It's not coming from the timing cover. It's not coming from higher. It's not coming from the turbocharger. It's not coming from the front. Looks like they might have a little bit of a crusty coolant leak, but maybe they already had that fixed because somebody's been messing in here. That clip's not shut. So we're gonna drain the oil and get this pan off. Like I said, not hard. You just got a bunch of T30s. You get those out and the pan drops off. Change the gasket, put it back up. It's about as easy as you get for a pan gasket. Now, something you do need to do these oil changes in these plastic ones is preferable this. This is a, I can't read it anymore because it's worn off. It's an AST tool. This fits in to this as such. It's got like this kind of T looking thing and then it turns. You can use a screwdriver. I have done it before. It's not the prettiest thing. It can tear this thing up. That's why I purchased the tool. It's like 15 bucks. So if you're going to be changing oil on your Volkswagen a lot, get it. Get this a little closer. Hopefully this will be less messy. Gonna go ahead and change the oil while we're at it. So wait for this to drain. Let's go ahead and start wiping up some of our mess here. Unplug that, tuck it up here just so we don't get it in the way. Most of the oil will get the rest of it out when we get the pan down, but at least we won't get soaked now. Get this kind of wiped off some. Get a little less oily, even though we'll probably get more oily once we get everything done. So these are T30 Torx, Torx bits. Just be careful when spinning them out, the oil can sling on you. And then we just get them all out. All right, I'm on the last one, so put the oil bucket under it just to catch it if it falls, and hopefully it doesn't make a giant mess.
couple little spots here. You got a little cranny right there, a little nook. Of course, make sure you have all your bolts out, but it can be a little stuck. Not quite as stuck back here because it's leaking. There we go. And there we are. Pans down. Surprisingly a lot of oil still on it. So we'll leave this to drip. We will wipe it down. Now to try and take a clean rag and run it all over these surfaces. There's usually nothing you have to scrape because it's just, it's a rubber gasket, thankfully. Not a uh, silicone or a, ooh, snap. It's not a silicone gasket or uh, RTV. There we go. That was the word I was looking for. The oil will sit there and drip for a while. So let's get to getting our gasket out. All right, so we have our gasket here. I just get a little pick tool. One thing you can kind of tell is when you run your finger over here, it's it's pretty squished flat. Uh, it's pretty flat, especially back here. Up here, not so much. You can feel a little bit of a ridge, but right back here, it's flat as I don't even know what word I want to use for that. So they got a little pull tab here you can pull on. Hopefully it doesn't break. And then when it comes off, just peel it up. Probably have a hole in my glove, don't I? Because this feels like my fingers wet. So now that that's there, I'm give it a good wipe. It doesn't have to be super clean, but I like to make it super clean as much as I can. Try to make sure your rag doesn't leave any lint or anything like that behind. Put our new gasket. Sold as a set. I wonder how many gaskets are in here. Oh look, one. Uh, this is the hard part, honestly, is figuring out which way it goes. Because it's very floppy and it's hard to, it's kind of hard to lay out. So. What I try to look for is the section, this, that. Look for this little section where it really bends back on itself. And so I'll do that. I think it's pretty, I don't know if it can really go upside down. We'll find out. Yeah, it can. So it comes up and then immediately caves back on itself. So I got it backwards, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Is that it? Nope. This one. This one looks like a winner. Let's do this. Nope. Man, I had an easier time than the last time I did this. Hmm. just tried. You could also go with a corner. This looks like a corner. Not exactly. This is the puzzling time. Aha. I think we're getting somewhere. Yeah, we are. There we go. Now we got it.
So just start pressing it in. Don't run your finger down it, just press down on it. And uh, that'll get it into its spot. As you can tell, it's pretty specific as to how it's laid out. So should match up nicely. trying to keep it out of the oil as much as I can, but it's a rubber gasket, so I'm not super worried about it. It's okay if it's got oil on it. It's not gonna break anything. It's mostly important that it seals. So make sure you have it pushed in all the way, all around. There we go. And that's that. So now we can go and wipe off the block. That one's too dirty. This one's pretty good. I'm gonna wipe the outside a little bit. Where my fingerprints are. Now that we're done with the oil pan, let's change the oil filter. This is a 32 millimeter socket on this. Ditch the filter, get the gasket off. Ditch that. You can put the filter on first, doesn't matter really, because it sits pretty deep. Yeah. Try not to make a hellacious mess, mess. Then stick it in its groove, walk it around. Make sure it's sitting in its groove. Take a little oil, wipe it around it like that, and clean it off, and put it back in. These are torqued to 25 Newton meters, so it's not very tight. Should be able to spin it on with your hand quite a ways. almost all the way down, if not all the way down. You guessed it. I don't torque everything, but I torque a few things, and this is one of those things. If it's ever an oil filter housing like this, plastic, metal, I don't care, 25 Newton meters. There you go. Again. Not super tight. Fun story, uh, one time I was working on a Toyota and we actually, I got a, I had a, I used this to try and break the filter housing loose and it didn't work. I had to use this to get the filter housing loose. Somebody put it on there way too tight. It was metal too, so that didn't help. Don't make me need to use this. That's all I ask, please. All right, let's get some oil for this thing and we'll get the oil filled up in here. I'm sure you can figure out how to fill up oil and then we'll run it, test it, and check it. There we are. Post test drive, engine's nice and hot. Uh, looks good. No, no no leaks if you do get like a little bit of like oil looking this under this edge here but it's not like actually running down i wouldn't worry too much about it i would just wipe it off and then and just drive it some more i would say that there's going to be a decent amount of oil that's kind of caught around the the seal when you were putting it up and it's like still constantly dripping so don't freak out if that's the case just just monitor it you know 
drive it around, check your oil level. If you're doing it yourself, uh, you don't necessarily have to pick it up and look every time, but just keep an eye on it and it should be fine. Should be fine. That's it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it and uh, more to come. Don't forget to sub or whatever it is that you're supposed to do on YouTube.